Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create. Now we are going to be starting the, the tutorial for the Wonderland Sleeping Beauty Folio. Just want to give you a heads up. I ended up using the album we created in the build, which is not what I used to make this. Um, so I wanted to use this album that we made because I really like the way this feels. And I redid part of the tutorial because making this with black on black, it was so hard to see. So when I was editing it, I go, this is just impossible to see. So some of the tutorial, you will be seeing it with all these different colors of paper. So it's much easier for you to visualize. I will be going back and forth between the building with these different color papers and then adding the designer paper back on the black um, the black card stock with the original tutorial just wanted to give you a heads up so you're going to be seeing them both hello carla from scrap and create so we're going to get started on our wonderland slash sleeping beauty folio now we made this cover piece. This is the cover piece we made in the build. I decided I'm going to redo it for this tutorial um, using what we built and use colored cardstock because building this black on black, I was reviewing the, the video I already made for the tutorial. It was so hard to see. So I really want you guys to be able to see what we're doing. So we're going to be using the album we just made, and I'm going to be using different colored cardstock just so you can see what we're doing. So you're going to open yours up. This is the left inside panel, right inside panel, so you can mark them if you want. Top, Make sure you know the top and the bottom. And we are going to start placing a piece over. We're going to be working on this left panel. So what you're going to do, if you have a hundred pound cardstock in black, use that. If not, 85, 80, 85 would be, would be okay too. I just want, we're going to be making quarter inch gussets and I want those gussets to be strong and not collapse. So you're going to cut a piece of black cardstock, stock, hopefully hundred pounds, eight and five eighths, eight and five eighths inches tall by seven and three eighths inches wide. You're going to put it in your scoreboard with the seven and three eighths side on top and you will be scoring it at a half an inch, half an inch and three quarters of an inch. This is hundred pound cardstock that I'm using. This is pretty heavy. So we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish those score lines. So I have my piece. Um, I've burnished those score lines. Bur make sure when you're doing a gusset, you burnish it real well so you get a sharp gusset there. And then I applied my score tape to the half an inch flat back here. What you're going to do is you are going to go to the left outside um, panel here and you are going to line it up and you're going to be lining it up one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the, of the album here. So I made my little pencil mark so I know one eighth and you're just going to place that Get it um, centered top to bottom and then line it up with that that pencil mark and then just go ahead and pull the score tape so i am going to do that and i'll be right back so we have this piece in make sure you burnish that down well <clears throat> so there is the gusset that's how it should be sitting so next, you are going to cut another piece of black cardstock. If you have it, a hundred pound again, because we're going to make another quarter inch gusset. This piece, you're going to cut 
seven and three quarter inches tall by seven and three eighths inches wide. Put the seven and three eighths inches on top and you are going to score it again at half an inch, three quarters of an inch. I go over it multiple times because it's a hundred pound paper, so. So then you're going to fold and burnish these and make your gusset and you're going to be putting your score tape on this half inch strip. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So you got those two pieces in and then these are flush with each other. So your two gussets should look like that, flush with each other, like that. Next, on top of this piece, this flap that you just put in, we're going to be making a gatefold. So you're going to get a piece of black cardstock. Now this one could be 65 pound cardstock, eight and a half by 11 inches, your standard um, size. You are going to trim it to seven and three quarter inches tall, S same height as this. So this should be the same height. And you are going to score it at a half an inch on one side and you are gonna put score tape there which is what I should have done, but I have not done that yet. And then you're going to find the center of this flap right here. There's the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, we're going to be adhering this. I believe it's right on top of this. I'm pretty sure it is. And where that tick mark is of the center of the, the page below it, I'm going to mark right there. And then I'm going to put this in my cutter and I'm gonna cut that. Now, the, my ultimate width eventually is about three and three quarter inches, somewhere around there. So go ahead and get this scored. Get your paper, um, your, your tape on here. Find the center of this one. Put this right up on top of this flap that you just put in. There's the center right there. And then you're going to cut this. So I cut that and put my score tape here. I'm going to just miter these little corners on this side from score line just a little bit out. Score line, a little bit of mitering. And you're going to go ahead and attach this piece, line it up and pull that score tape. Make sure it's straight. So you have that piece in. So that's half of the gatefold. Now with this leftover piece, you are going to go ahead and score it at half an inch. Put your tape here, miter the corners, and let me let me do that and I'll be right back. So I have this piece scored, tape, tape applied and the, the size mitered. This is going to go on the same flap that you attached this one. So you're just going to line it up here. But before you pull the tape, get it lined up. Pull this over and draw your lines so you know where to cut it. So I'm going to cut along that line and be right back. So I cut that and now you're just going to apply this flap to this end right here. Get that lined up, make sure it's straight 
top to bottom, close this, make sure it looks good, and then you can go ahead and pull, pull your tape. So now you have your gatefold in. So next you're going to get another piece of black cardstock. This could be 65, 85 pound cardstock, seven and three quarter inches tall by seven inches wide. Put it in with the seven inch side on top, score it at half an inch, fold, burnish, and apply your score tape to this end. So this piece is, is fold, burnished, and mitered. Now this here, you just built the gatefold on top of this flap. Turn this over. This is the first flap you put down. You're going to go, you're going to be adhering this down to this flap. This is seven three quarter inches tall, same as this one here. And this has no gusset. This is going to be going all the way to the edge of this paper. So you're just going to line it up so it's the same with this paper right here. And just pull the tape. I can never get it started. Pull the tape. So line it up. So this should give you a six and a half inch flap right here. And then this goes over like this. So we have our gatefold attached to this piece. You turn this over. We have this piece that pulls out like this. And then this is going to be pulling out. And back here, we're going to be adding a, a boxed envelope. So let me just show you what you what we just built. So let's go through what we built. We have this gatefold. So here's our gatefold here. This is the centerpiece here. Here's the centerpiece here. I'm gonna pull this open. I'm gonna pull th this open so we have this flap here, same as this flap. We have this flap, which is the same as this flap. If you open this flap up, open this flap up, we have this spread, panel, middle panel, 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 middle panel, panel. If you close all these up, close this up, you come to our inside panel, which, which is going to be like this. This is, this part here is this, the first page that you put in, and back here, on the chipboard itself, we are going to be eventually building this box envelope back in here. That's why we have that gusset, because this, this gusseted page is going to be enclosing that, that um, pocket. So that's where we're at. So now we're going to add our flip pockets. So you're going to cut two pieces, six and seven eighths, inches long by three and three quarter inches tall. You're going to put that in your scoreboard and you're going to score it at a half an inch. Flip it and a half an inch. Go ahead and fold and burnish on those score lines. Right. 
Now, what I like to do, I'm going to fold, so we got this, this pocket like this. I'm going to fold this here. So this score line here, I'm going to fold it, fold it in. And I am going to bring this long side over till it is flush with this side. And then you're just going to fold it right in the middle. And then just burnish it. So that's going to fold and close to make a pocket. Now we're going to be doing some cutting. So you have it like this. Let me see, I already have it. I already have this one kind of outlined. Here's your here's your half inch fold on this side. Here's the half inch fold down here. This this side has no fold on the side, right? No, no score line. Fold this away. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your scissors. Here's the midline. You are going to cut a little miter up to that midline, like that. And then you're going to cut this whole piece out where I put my little pencil marks. Just cut that, that whole part out. I'm going to put it up to my eyes because I can't see very well. So you have a piece that looks, that should look like this. Okay, so what you're going to do now, you are going to miter this edge right here. Just going to do a little miter right there. And you're going to miter this like a regular pocket. You're going to go miter right there. And just make sure your miter is good, that the edges, these don't cross over. So now you're going to fold this over and you have made a little pocket like this. So you're going to do that for both of them. So I'm going to do that with my other one and I'll be right back. So I have my score tape on both of these and basically you're just going to put it down, burnish this side real well. and pull the score tape and put your pocket together. Burnish those real well. And now you have your, oops, your pockets, your two pockets. So we are going to be attaching these to one of your flaps in your album with these little hinges. So you're going to cut two pieces that are the same width which is, should be three and one quarters. So you're gonna cut two pieces that are the same width as these pockets, three and one quarters by one inch wide. This one looks like it's a little bit too long. You can see it's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna trim that, uh, but I'm gonna score it at a half an inch right down the middle. Score it down half an inch. Yeah, let me see about this one. How does this one look? This one looks about the right size. So once you score it, 
you're going to be folding it in half. So put, fold it in half. Burnish it and put score tape on both sides. So put score tape on both sides like this. This one's already got the score tape on both sides. You folded uh, at the score mark, burnished it, got score tape at both sides. So when you fold it, here's the seam down here, fold it up and then you're going to miter it. Let's see, where is my... You're going to miter from, oh, here's the, the seam. It's easier for me to do it like this. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna cut towards that end point. Cut towards that end point. So when you open it up, it's going to look like this. So again, here's your seam, just miter up towards that seam there, that seam. Same thing on this side. I need to trim this a little bit. I need to add my score tape. Full burnish, got your score tape. Seam up, miter towards that seam, miter towards that seam, and now you have our two attachment hinges. So get your your album back. So you're going to turn this page that has the gatefold, you're going to turn that over and we are going to be attaching it to this flap here. The way you're going to do this, get one of my pockets, there's the pocket, you're going to be attaching this hinge piece, this hinge attachment piece to the bottom of the pocket here. Here's the top. Here's the top. Here's your fold line. Here's the bottom. You're going to attach it to the bottom on both of them like this. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So here's your pocket, attached this to this bottom pit piece. So your, this is the bottom, so it should look like this. Here's the other side, like that. You fold this, this is going to be attached to the bottom edge of this flap, remember. Gate fold, fold this over this flap that opens up like this. You're going to attach it to the bottom here. And this one is going to be attached to the bottom here. So you are going to line them up with the edge of this paper this, that they're being attached to and have the same reveal, which should be just like 1 16th of an inch on each side right here. You can see that. So there's, they're going to be butted up to each other and they should both have the same reveal on both sides here and here. Like, like that, just a little bit, 1 16th inch reveal on both sides, like that. So get those lined up. Put one in and then butt the other one next to, to the other one and then um, you'll be done with the pockets. So I'm going to do that. So I got my two flip pockets in. So this line, these score lines should be basically running across. The, they should be even. Remember, you're, it's adhered to the edge of the pocket of the flap right there. So you got these flip pockets, and I think other than the envelope, um, we're done with panel, the, the left panel. 